Even the best, the dogs and cats that we love, we're still killing four million a year in this country. We, we make those decisions on which ones can be placed back into the community, and, which is the majority of them, and then um, the ones that aren't, uh, can't be placed, are not placed. And what happens to those dogs? Those, those animals are euthanized. One of the things that people d don't understand is when they relinquish their their pet. Unless your dog is, you know, this perfect dog that doesn't show any bad bad behaviors, most likely it's just going to be housed until it's time to be euthanized. They have a covert pit bull ban that allows them to slaughter wholly innocent pit bulls in huge numbers. Last year there was 1,200 pit bulls came into this facility. Uh, the euthanasia rate is higher, it's about 50% of, of the pit bulls do not get placed or do not go back to owners. A lower number of owners come to get their pit bulls when a pit bull comes into the facility, their days are numbered. They were not spending time with them, not socializing them. You know, they, they just stayed in their kennels until it was time to be euthanized. I, we had started to talk about the no-kill advocacy group and the no-kill shelters that are illustrated in the book Redemption. So what do you think about that? What do you think about the feasibility of that being incorporated, let's say here in Little right. County? I don't think it's feasible. At this, at this stage to, to, um, to start thinking about that. The only time I fault animal control is if they don't embrace, frankly, the, the idea of no-kill. Because they should be the people who are advocating the hardest for no-kill. While many shelters across the country are reluctant to embrace the no-kill direction, a few are moving forward with it, including an alliance of shelter and rescue groups headed by Jane Hoffman in New York City. In June of 2005, when we got the Maddie's Fund grant, Mayor Bloomberg had a press conference to announce the fact that we were so excited that we had received this goal, this grant, and that New York's goal was to become no kill by 2015. This is the mayor of the city of New York embraced this idea. Our animal control is part of the alliance and embraces no kill. Healthy and treatable is very broad categories for us. It's not, you know, this is not an easy way out. That's why we don't really use the word adoptable because that's so subjective. I mean, what does that mean? Um, you know, we want to have some really more objective, which is why healthy and treatable, if you define them, is a much better way to go. The reason I wanted to do this here originally was because if we can do it here, nobody can say you cannot do this. Because this is one of the most dense cities, the largest cities in the, in Ameri in the United States. We're probably taking in somewhere over 50,000 animals in our entire system. If, if we can do this, other municipalities can do this. Hi. Got approved for the adoption process, and uh, yeah, so I think we're going to take Samson home. 